Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Have you lost your iPhone or, even worse, have you had it stolen from you? As you probably know, Apple has a contingency plan for cases like this and makes it easy for the owner to track their device, especially if they have a spare iPhone they can use for tracking. In this video, I will show you how to track a lost or stolen iPhone from another iPhone when it's a spare or a friend's. Let's go! Keep in mind that this method only works if Find My was activated before your iPhone was lost or stolen. On another iPhone, open the Find My app. It doesn't matter if the device is signed in with a different Apple ID. Go to the Me tab. Scroll down and click Help a Friend. You can also access it directly at iCloud.com find. Sign in to the Apple ID used with your lost or stolen iPhone. As usual, Apple will ask for the two-factor authentication code to verify access. If your registered phone number associated with your account was lost with your device, you can proceed without the verification code. Browse below and click Find Devices instead. When the dashboard loads, tap the specific device in the list. You should be able to see its real-time location details if it's online. Otherwise, you'll only get the last known location that was sent to Apple within 24 hours. Also remember that if your iPhone had stolen device protection enabled and you used it to change your Apple ID password in an unfamiliar place, the location of your device may not be visible when you track it on the Find My website. Once you see your device on the site, there are several actions you can take to either find or protect it. First, you can make your iPhone play a sound to see if it's nearby and has just been misplaced. If the device is off, the sound is delayed and will not play again until it goes online. You can also mark it as lost to provide contact information for the person who finds it to see it on the screen. If your iPhone has very important files or different payment methods that you think may be compromised, you can instead click Erase this device to wipe out all content and settings. Don't worry, you'll still be able to locate it after the reset. As long as you have a backup, if you find your device or simply decide to buy a new one, you can restore your data. Okay, if I've been able to assist you, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you enjoy taking photos and videos with your iPhone, please visit my website. Over the last few months, I've created a video course where I've gathered the best tips and tricks on how to make the most out of your iPhone for photography. You'll find the link to the website in the video description. Until next time, bye.